morning all. I've uh, come out into the woods today. Uh, I was actually walking in some uh, wooded area last um, Monday with somebody and uh, made me think about this place. I haven't been here for a couple of years actually. It's a uh, Breed High Woods place that I've, I used to come to quite a lot and you know what time's like, you know, time flies, which I should come to in a minute actually. And uh, so I thought I'd come out here and it's amazing how these places change. They do manage it because it's uh, managed and owned or run or whatever by the Woodland Trust. And um, I sort of just found another new path because you just have to explore. I mean, there are maps available, but uh, it's, uh, the beauties of these things is sort of wandering off and getting a little bit lost, I suppose. But going back to the time thing, I suddenly realised yesterday because I was contacted um, by someone on YouTube um, who I met in inverted commas virtually, who's coming over to England. Actually, they're in England now and um, hoping to meet up at some time. They wanted to meet up. So, but it uh, made me think about, about YouTube generally because this is a person that I suppose I've known as I said in the inverted commas for about getting on for eight nine years or something like that and then I realized yesterday literally yesterday was 10 years um, to the day since I signed up for YouTube and started uh, I started making videos a couple of weeks later so um, I haven't I don't make many videos as you probably were but I had a look at my channel yesterday as I said been on there for 10 years and I made I uploaded I think it's on 880 videos which is a hell of a lot and, and now I just tend to put things onto Facebook or something maybe I should put more of these onto um, onto to, to YouTube itself I might I'm have to be careful because I fall over. Uh, I might show you my boots in a bit, but that's another story. So, but those 10 years, I mean, 2006, it seems a hell of a long time ago. And also the amount of things that have happened in that 10 years, and a lot of it, I've, I've said this loads of times before, but if anyone knew watching these type of things, um, a lot of it has come about because of getting involved with YouTube. I was blogging, I suppose. I was doing radio DJing and, and things like that beforehand. But getting involved in, with video making and doing this type of thing, talking into a camera and all that sort of stuff, it helps you with that type of thing as well. You know, your speech and thinking off the top of your head and all that sort of stuff, which certainly helps with the DJing and they, they help with this as well. And the writing and the sort of stuff that I got into and all that sort of stuff. I usually find it easier to talk than write. <laughs> <laughs> if you know me <laughs> and uh, so so but, but also it was a sort of community thing meeting people like this person is coming over um some of the people i have met obviously got friends all literally all over the world that i've uh, got to know via uh, youtube itself and then that's passed on now to you know facebook and twitter uh, instagram and all those sort of places that are around now and so we're still good friends but it's it's taken me on adventures as well apart from actually getting to know these people virtually i've met a fair amount of them um in the real world as well um done a couple of road trips as i said before you know over to sort of chicago and nashville and uh, went to a little gathering in nashville in two 2008 and then 2010 which uh, another sort of momentous year um, I went to did the road trip with the guys down uh, um, Los Angeles and up to uh, San Francisco and funnily enough well, there was a little Twitter conversation with the guys still going on then as I said we keep in contact with good friends and uh, sort of reminiscing a tweet came up which reminded us you know those things that, you know they, me those memories that turn up on Facebook or Twitter on this day you were doing this or that sort of thing so um, I was going to go up this hill here actually so I'm a bit different and um, that's, so there's, there's a lot that's happened and uh, a lot to be thankful for, for what I've done on there and what's gone on since. And it gives you a bit of a, a sense of adventure because, you know, it's like you meet new people from different places and foreign lands and all that sort of stuff. And enough, once again, last night I was talking about how travel broadens the mind. And it certainly does, whether it be in a virtual sense, by getting to know people from across the world and what they're doing in their culture and sharing their culture with videos, actually. That's one of the great things is they can, so they can tell you, excuse me, I'm getting a breath now. Um, they can tell you about their life um, where they're living and show you it um, in video form or whatever uh, and then you can experience that and they can experience your life um, she's like the person who's come over to, oh yeah I'd like to see those places that you've shown us in the videos you can't see all of them but I remember a couple of years ago actually that uh, uh, Rich who, who I did meet in Santa Monica back in 2010 came over to Britain I think it was last year actually and he came down to Hastings for the afternoon and uh, sort of took him on a little stroll around the old town and that type of thing. So it's good. So that 10 years, it's gone bloody quick. Uh, it's frightening, actually, when you think about it. I know time flies for all of us. Um, and we're constantly reminded of that. But that was, that was certainly a reminder. And 10 years doing this type of thing. Um, I think, I mean, I enjoy doing this and maybe I should do a bit more of it. And um, 
I'm going away to Spain three weeks today actually so hopefully I'll be making a few of those little travel diary type videos when I'm over there um, so watch out for that and maybe oh, this is the place that always sort of tended to inspire me when I came for a walk going for a walk generally you know you're sort of on your own you're thinking about things and all that type of thing and experiencing the wonder of the British countryside <laughs> which isn't bad either so that's always an inspiration isn't it anyway I'm going to walk down this hill and I don't want to fall over so I'm going to turn this off here's to the next 10 years and uh uh, and what momentous things may happen in that. I've got an idea of a few. Anyway, I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.